Hello and welcome. My name's Hollywood Joe Tussing. I'll be your host, and today we are going to take a look at UFC 223's main event, the lightweight title fight between Tony Ferguson and Khabib Nurmagomedov. This fight has fallen through three times, hopefully fourth time's the charm, and we make it to April 7th. This time there are far more implications, UFC gold on the line, as well as a possible fight between the winner and the champ champ, Conor McGregor. So we'll look at the champion, we'll look at the challenger, and make a pick for April 7th. The champion, Tony Ferguson, is riding a 10-fight win streak right now. He entered the octagon through the Ultimate Fighter reality show, winning the show by knocking out Ramsey Nijem, won two fights in the octagon, and then lost to Michael Johnson, a common opponent with Khabib, in May of 2012. Since that loss, Tony Ferguson has looked spectacular, almost perfect. He has beaten Rafael Dos Anjos, he's beaten Edson Barbosa, he picked up the interim title by defeating Kevin Lee in his last bout uh, in a third round triangle choke. It was a great fight, but did expose some holes in Tony Ferguson's game that Khabib will be able to use since his style is somewhat similar to Kevin Lee. Tony Ferguson is an outstanding, very unorthodox striker. His cadence is very broken. He doesn't throw the same strike twice usually. A lot of spinning attacks, a lot of teeps. He's not the most powerful puncher, but he's a high volume puncher. So if he is able to rock his opponent, he usually does a lot of damage. In his fight with Edson Barbosa, he threw a step in elbow that split Barbosa open very badly, caused a huge gash on his face bleeding all over the place. One of the things I think that ultimately led to him being able to lock up the Darce choke and choke Barbosa out. On the ground, the 10th Planet Black Belt is outstanding. Very, very long arms and very long legs. So he's very good at locking up triangles as well as front chokes, Darce chokes, anaconda chokes, so on. Uh, very good scramble fighter. That's one of the things that makes him such a formidable opponent for anybody in the UFC. He is a, he is a non-stop, go, go, go kind of fighter. On the ground, there is no waiting. When he's on his back, he is attacking with submissions as well as with, with his elbows. One of the things that he really looks to when he fights, he really likes to throw elbows trying to cut his opponents. So that's something that Khabib is going to have to watch out for. In his fight with Kevin Lee, he was somewhat exposed with his inability to get back to his feet when he really wanted to. Kevin Lee is a very good wrestler, but not on the level of Khabib. He's a very strong guy, but he's not as strong as Khabib. And he was able to hold uh, Tony Ferguson down on the ground pretty well, do a lot of ground and pound damage. Um, and this is while Kevin Lee had a staph infection, which caused a lot of problems for Lee's cardio in the third round. So. Who knows, that, that fight could have gone a, a little bit differently if Lee would have been 100%. In Ferguson's fight with, with Rafael Dos Anjos, you could tell that uh, the strength difference may, may play a problem. He wasn't able to control Dos Anjos at all. It was a, a very good back and forth fight on their feet. And Dos Anjos is a pretty basic striker. He doesn't do anything... Um, out of the ordinary. He likes to come forward and throw uh, very straight punches, somewhat similar to the way that Khabib fights on his feet, just not as much pressure. Khabib puts on far more pressure and throws far harder shots. Khabib's stand-up is, um, is very basic, but he has a lot of power in his punches, and he's okay to take a couple punches to get a hold of a, of a leg or to work against a cage and get a takedown. So Ferguson is going to have a big mountain to climb in this fight. Ferguson's stand-up, his unorthodox uh, style, is going to pose some problems for, t for Khabib. We saw in Khabib's fight with Edson Barbosa, he had a lot of trouble taking Barbosa down, getting close enough to get Barbosa to the ground, although Barbosa has a lot more power than Ferguson does. Khabib Nurmagomedov, 25-0. He is the favorite in this fight, the challenger. He's a minus 200 favorite. Tony Ferguson, the plus 220 underdog. 
Uh, and, th and there's a good reason for that. 25-0, and 0, look almost flawless in the octagon in his nine fights. Khabib has been just a wrecking machine. Everybody that he fights, barring his fight with Glyson Tebow, he takes down to the ground and obliterates them. The one fight that these guys have in common that Ferguson really shown in is the Tebow fight. Ferguson was able to, to rock Tebow pretty well. It was a very uh, high-paced stand-up fight, and then he was able to take Tebow's back and get the rear naked choke. With Khabib, he had a lot of problems with Glyson Tebow. Tebow's a very strong fighter, uh, and he was able to defend a lot of the takedowns and cause a lot of problems on the feet for Khabib. Tony Ferguson really believes that Khabib lost that fight to Tebow. I think it was a very, very close fight, but I would have given it to Khabib. Uh, Khabib's ground and pound is second to none in the UFC. There's no one in MMA that has as much top control as Khabib Nurmagomedov. The only person even close is Ben Askren. And hopefully we'll get to see Ben Askren and GSP fight here sometime shortly. Khabib Nurmagomedov is very strong on his feet, although his stand-up is very basic. And we saw him get rocked by Michael Johnson. He has a very, very hard chin, and he puts every bit of his power into every punch he throws. He's always coming forward. His shovel hooks are very powerful. He's gotten a couple knockouts with those, but he is going to look to take Ferguson down and elbow and ground and pound as much as possible. That is what uh, Khabib's ground, uh, ground game consists of. It's passing and ground and pound. He doesn't really look to submissions, although Khabib is a super high-level Sambo player. And that is where I think that Ferguson is going to have some problems. Ferguson is going to try to roll into leg bars or into knee bars, into leg locks and things like he does with other fighters. And he's not going to be able to move like he does underneath other UFC fighters. Khabib is going to stop a lot of that, that movement that Tony Ferguson has from the bottom. I don't know if Tony Ferguson is going to be strong enough to, de to deal with the posture that Khabib has on the bottom as well. So that's what, that's what we're going to look for. Is Khabib going to be able to take down Tony Ferguson, uh, do, do like he's done to every other opponent he's had, and basically just smash Tony Ferguson's face uh, for five rounds, maybe get the finish by TKO? Or will Tony Ferguson be able to come with one of his highlight submissions Catch Khabib just walking forward, maybe catch him, rock him, get him with a triangle or a darts choke, and finish the undefeated Dagestani. I really don't know what's going to happen, but I'm putting my money on Khabib. You can't bet against a guy that's 25-0 and 0 that, has look, that has looked as spectacular as he has in the octagon. So that's what I got for this fight. Tony Ferguson, Khabib Nurmagomedov, April 7th. It's going to be a great fight, great main event for UFC 223. Also a great co-main event, Rose Namajunas defending her title against the former champ, Joanna Champion, Joanna Uh Really excited for that fight as well. It's going to be a great night of fights. Tune in for that breakdown. Link will be in the description. Thanks, guys.